Hey and welcome to the show. So we are on a quest for the best bill plate bond. Now I did a previous video on this already and we tested glue stick on a glass build plate and I have some results from that. Now we also tested the initial layer print speed 55 versus 20 to see if that had any impact on it and it had very little if no impact on that whatsoever. Now I've been printing with ABS that I've been printing with glue stick for quite a while. Recently switched over to glass on the build plate, which works great, uh, but I think we can do a little bit better. So today we're going to use your guys' suggestion, which is ABS slurry or ABS juice, whatever you want to call it, and we'll see how it stacks up against these samples as well. So stick around. All right, so before we get into this too far, if you have not watched the previous video on the subject, it explains all the criteria for our testing. Uh, so if you're interested in this stuff, please check out the first video before you get into this one. Otherwise, let's get to it. Of course, we are using acetone. Acetone um, is the solvent for ABS, so you can bond ABS together with it uh, as well if you needed to. It is explosive, it is dangerous, and uh, you have to be careful when you're using it indoors. So in a well-ventilated area, of course. So if you've never mixed this before, uh, ABS juice, you want to use some old ABS parts or you can cut off little pieces of ABS and put them into a little jar. That is not plastic ideally, you want it to be metal or glass so that it does not melt. Alright, so then you leave it overnight, I've left mine for about 24 hours and you come back and you get this kind of thick mixture. Alright, just like my previous test in the previous video, make sure that everything is clean before we go ahead and apply the ABS juice. Now I have never done this before, so I'm using a tiny paintbrush. That's probably not a great idea, but it does seem to apply it okay. It just takes a little bit longer. And because the acetone evaporates so quickly, this really does set up quickly. You try and go back over with the paintbrush and it gets tacky immediately. All right, so before we put it on the 3D printer, we wanna make sure that everything has evaporated fully so you can't smell any acetone anymore. Now we're getting started with the first print. Uh, this print consists of both parts printed at the same time, the one with the rounded corners and the one with the square corners. They are being printed at 20 millimeters per second initial layer speed, and they are being printed again with the same material that I used on the previous testing. Now coming back to the print uh, partway through, it's kind of nearly finished at this point. Normally you can see an indication of whether it's lifting um, within about an hour or so. Now the prints are finished, normally I let them cool completely before I take anything off of the build plate and they normally make cracking noises and kind of release from the build plate on their own. So I pop these off the build plate and normally you can flip them over and you get a little visual indication of the way the light reflects off the bottom of where any lifting has occurred. Just like my previous samples, the top surface is rough, so I'm taking a file, just lightly removing those little peaks so that I can get a more accurate measurement. Okay, so now it's time to take some measurements, and this is where it really does show. Is it going to be better or is it going to be worse? So I had uh, four samples from the last testing and I have some results. They were off by, the maximum was off by 0.11 millimeters. Uh, that's the average if I measure both ends compared to the middle. And I think this is the best way of testing these particular parts personally, but if you have a better idea, please let me know. Um, now, these particular parts though, they are measuring and there's a substantial difference, so I'm not sure what's going on here. They are measuring 0.21 millimeters and 0.9 millimeters. There's a huge difference and it is obviously not showing a very good result it's much worse than just using glue stick. So no matter which sample, they have poor results. Now, one thing I would say is that because the results are so bad um, and people have told me that they use ABS slurry or ABS juice with good success, I, I'm not sure how. Um, I wanted to do another test. So having a look at the build plate and the way that it came off, it looks to me like the build plate was too hot and I wanted to test and the initial layer being hot so that I get a good initial bond and then after that cool the build plate down down to 50 Celsius rather than having it up at 93 like I had and see if that makes a difference. So I went through all the same steps of cleanliness of the application in this case though I didn't use a paintbrush I used a paper towel just to see if I could get 
a little bit more even coat on that surface. And uh, we've run only one sample, and it was not the rounded corner, it was a square corner sample. The one that supposedly would want to lift more. And the results for that one were terrible. Um, it's one of the worst prints that I've had. So obviously this ABS juice uh, is just not working for me. It is on a glass build plate and um, you know it's possible I'm not as experienced as I should be with this. Through this testing it is also possible that this is just not a good solution. So I'm hoping you guys can inform me a little bit more about your experience with this. Is it really any good? Um, or you just use glue stick or do you use some other solution? Um, I'd like to do some more testing, really get to what is the best way of bonding ABS to a glass mill plate. And um, we'll see if we can make some progress in future videos. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you got some information from this. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care everybody. We'll see you on the next one.